everyone and welcome to another SQL query training session with Learn at No Star. In today's session, we are going to take a look at some examples using the SQL like clause. So we are going to write some queries and we are going to look at some scenarios where we would be comparing the certain characters in a string with some specific values. So let's get started. So the first example that we're going to work with is name. So I'm working with the Adventure Worlds data warehouse data for SQL Server and I'm using the dim customer table. So I've run a simple query, select first name from dim customer. Now, let's say we want to match certain characters, which means our example, the first example that we're going to take is that we're going to identify all the customers whose first name starts with the alphabet A. So in that case, it's a very simple query. What we can do is use the where clause and then compare the first name. So first name and then use the like clause. And because we want the first character to be a specific alphabet which is a in our case i'm just going to put a and then i can have any character so for that i'm going to use the wild card which is a person sign person simply means that is a it is a wild card allowing any number of characters so now if i run this query what i'm going to get in the output is all those names which start with a okay so that's pretty simple now the second scenario is somewhat similar but now instead of names starting with a we are going to take a look at the names at the customers whose name ends with an a so in this case we have to move the percent on the left side so now we have to put a percent over here in the beginning because what we are saying is that in the beginning, we can have any characters which can be one, it can be a single character, it can be multiple characters and they can, have, they can have any value which is what the person wildcard signifies, any number of characters having any values and but the last character should be an A. Okay, so we can put it in a small case over here and see what are the results from our query. So now we've got all the customer names which and with an a so these queries were very simple and most of you might have already used these queries now get let's get to some a uh, little more interesting scenario so the third example that we are going to take is uh, let's find out all the customers whose name is of three characters or three alphabets only so the length of the name is three and which and with the characters a n so what we are saying is that now the name should have three characters. So let's denote them with underscores one, two and three. So it should have three characters and the last two characters should always be a n. So now let's take away the last two characters, last two underscores and replace them with an a n. Now the wildcard that we have used in this case is an underscore. Underscore specifies only a single character. So when we are writing underscore over here and we run this query, what we're essentially saying is that we want names which are of three alphabets, three character long, because in the place of an underscore, there can exist only a single character. Now, if I replace this with a person sign, what is going to happen is that I'm going to get all the names whose length might be greater than three because now what we are saying is that there can be any number of characters with any values. When we say an underscore, it's only a single character with any value. So if there is a scenario like that where we have to specifically count the characters, then we can use an underscore. So we'll take another example from some other table which will make it more uh, clear in terms of a realistic scenario but before that let's uh, take a look at some other scenarios uh, which we can use with the name uh, column attribute all right so the next scenario might be something like that we want to see all the first names uh, which start with either a or c or let's say d so in that case what we have to do is we have to use these square brackets and whatever we write within these square brackets, so A, C, and D, okay? So the first character is going to be either of these characters. 
and then after that we are saying that there can be any characters so we are going to use a percent sign over here and now if I run this query what I'm going to get is all the names so this is starting with C this is starting with D this is starting with A all the names that start either with an A C or D so only a single character we are considering here now let's say the requirement is actually that oh, I want all the names which start from A to let's say P all right so all the names which start from A, B, C, D till P. So the range of alphabets from A to P. So when we're talking about range, again, we need to use the square brackets. But now the way we need to write is write the first character of the range, which is going to be A, then use a hyphen and then mention the last character of the range, which is going to be a P. So now if I run this query, I'm, to, I'm going to get all the names which start from A till p okay so let's order by first name uh, descending and let's see so the last name that we have got is p so the last character in the range was p and that is what we have got now let's say our requirement is to get all the names which do not start from a to p all right so now we are going we are giving the reverse of this condition so to give a not condition you can also have a not like here obviously that is also one way so you can simply write not like and run your query so whatever is the result would be all the names not starting from any alphabet between a to p but there's another way to do that which is to use this character which is something like a caret sign so you can use this character over here, this character. And if you execute this query now, okay, sorry. So that's my mistake. We got nothing because this caret has to be inside the square brackets and not outside. So let's place it inside the brackets and now execute this query. And we'll get the result, which will be the all the customer names. Uh, which start with any alphabet not between a and d okay so this is how we can write various queries and do pattern matching using the like clause and using these wildcards now let's take another example so now i am going to uh, see some data from the dim product table so we just write a select query first Okay, so now in this product table, I have got a column called product alternate key and you might have some validity rules on these kind of columns. So the validity rule, let's take an example would be uh, something like that the third character in this product alternate key should always be a hyphen. So we have to find out all the valid product alternate keys. So what we can do and how we can frame this query would be something like where product alternate key like and now we are saying third character so we are specifying a position uh, a character at a specific position so the best wildcard for us to use here would be an underscore so what we are saying is that the first two characters could be anything okay so two underscores one underscore two underscore for the first two characters then we are saying that the third character has to be a hyphen so let's put a hyphen and after that we are not concerned it could be any characters or any numbers so we would put a percent sign for that so which basically specifies any number of characters with any with any value right and now i can close this bracket so now if i run this query okay so before running the query let's uh, quickly take a look at the data so i have some invalid data if you see the product key number two this has got ba underscore a327 so according to our rules this becomes an invalid entry whereas all the other entries we can see have hyphens at the third position so let's see if this entry is filtered out with our query so if we execute this query now, you will see that we don't have product key 2 over here because obviously it did not fulfill the criteria that we mentioned over here. So this is where you can use the underscores or match a character at a specific position. So this is a more real scenario example for that. Now, there, we are saying that we are using all these wildcards. So, there might be scenarios where 
these wildcard are valid values in your data so how would you handle those scenarios so now for that let's go and take a look at the dim promotion table here okay so now we have this table in the adventure works database which is a promotion table and you have got some promotion names so here in the promotion table there's a column called english promotion name and you can see that this has a description for the promotion so it is no discount 20 percent discount 20 usd discount and so on so now a requirement is basically to filter out all the promotion names which start with a 20 percent discount or which have 20 percent uh, mention in them so how can we use that okay let's frame the query using the knowledge that we have just learned uh, so we are going to use a where clause and then we are going to filter on the english product name uh, sorry promotion name so english promotion name like and what we said that we can use a person sign so it would match any number of characters so let's use a person sign because we do not want it to be in the beginning always it can appear anywhere and then we are saying that we want to find out all the promotion names whose uh, who have 20 percent included in the string so we are going to write 20 percent all right and let's put another percent and end this okay so this is basically what we are trying to find and this is how we should be framing the query based on what we have learned so far so now let's execute this query and see what we get so once we execute this query you will see that what we have got is we have got all the promotion names which have the 20 percent but along with that we have got all the other promotion names which have the numbers 20 in them okay and why has this occurred is basically because sql has treated this percent as the wildcard instead of treating it as a character which could be a part of the string so now to make sql treat it as a character as a specific character and not a wildcard we have to use some escape characters okay so here we can specify any escape character that we want to specify so we can use a backslash if you use a backslash over here then whatever escape character you are using you have to use this keyword escape and then mention that escape character so here i've mentioned the backslash as the escape character now if i execute this query i'll get the results which have 20 percent in them okay specifically with this with the character of percent all right so now let me explain this again what i have done here is that wherever at whatever position i want to use a wildcard or some reserved character from sql as a character that i want to find in the string i have to escape that character for that i have to use an escape character i've used a backward slash so just before the character that you want to escape you have to use this escape character so we wanted 20 percent so this person before this person over here we have to use this escape character and then you have to use this clause escape and mention your escape character right and this the last person that you've specified here is that after 20 percent any number of characters can occur now this escape character you can choose you can use a backward slash you can also use something like uh, not equal to or exclamation sign okay so here you have to just specify that that is your escape character that you have used and you would get the same results now sometimes instead of using escape character you can also try using square brackets if you are using square brackets you do not need to mention this and the okay and if we execute this query it should work the same way so this is much simpler to write you can just uh, you can just encapsulate the reserve character that you want to use and find in the string within square bracket so this should also work okay so these are the various ways in which you can write your query and uh, find a reserve character in your string so these are the various combinations that you can use with the like clause and you can do pattern matching 
uh, obviously there's more complex pattern matching possible as well so we'll keep on taking a look at those specific scenarios in a later videos but this would this should give you a good idea of all the possibilities that uh, you can cover using the like clause of the sql server i hope you found that with this video useful if you did then please do not forget to like comment and share this video and also please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel because we will be posting many more videos soon thanks a lot for watching goodbye